bitches on the beach. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Moni Sierra. How you doing today? I am doing okay. And if you don't already know me, my name is Monique. I'm a military wife. We are stationed in Grafenville, Germany. And if you are into vlogs, hauls, and bariatric surgery, then you've come to the right place. So do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe, and you won't regret it. Turn the notification bell because I post every Friday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time, and you do not want to miss it. Also, comment down below on other things y'all want to see, and I will definitely get into it. So, before we get into this video, check out this weight loss. 263.8. Y'all, so I am now 263, which leads me at a 58 pound weight loss. Um, if y'all seen my video last week, go check that out. Y'all seen that I had gained a pound. Um, so just from last week, I have lost five more pounds. So that shows right there for any VSG watchers that even if you gain a pound, you're still going to lose your weight. You just have to be patient. Today, we're not talking about VSG though. We're going to talk about um, starting up a YouTube. I get a lot of questions. I, a lot of people be telling me that they want to start a YouTube and they're always asking me like, how did you do it? What do you have to do? And stuff like that. So I wanted to talk about that today. So yeah, let's get into this video. So I'm gonna give y'all a little backstory first. Um, I've been wanting to start a YouTube for a long time. Um, if you've been following me for a while, thank you so much for following me. Um, I officially started actually doing YouTube around two years ago when my husband left for the military. Um, that's when I decided to get into YouTube more because I wanted to find something else to do other than work. So that's when I was like, I'm actually going to do YouTube. I have videos three years ago six years ago seven years ago on my youtube but it wasn't consistent it was never consistent so when i two years ago when i started doing my youtube that's when i started being consistent so if you want to be a youtuber the first advice that i give you is be consistent when you be consistent people tune in more you start getting more views and things like that like I tell you guys that I post every Friday, which I do. I've posted every Friday since I started my YouTube. Um, if you can't get a video out, go live. Do something. Just don't leave it hanging. Like when I was gone, when I went home to visit my family last month, I went live on YouTube because I didn't want to upload a video that week. I was there. So I just went live for 15 minutes, said, hey, how y'all doing? And you still get views so that's one thing that i would say that you would have to do is stay consistent for sure another thing that i would say um come up with an idea or a niche or neek how do you say that word <laughs> come up with an idea come up with something that you know your videos are going to be about and stick to it um i mean i'm not the best at it because Mine's are vlogs, hauls, and bariatric surgery. But right now, my, my most of my YouTube videos are focused on bariatric surgery. Um, but a year ago, I was doing lock updates, which I still will do those, but it's not gonna be a lot. Like I was doing lock updates. I was talking about the military, being a spouse, stuff like that. But every time I posted about that stuff, I will post more than one video. I wouldn't just post one video and leave it alone. You get what I'm saying? So when you think of something that you want to do, stick to it. Because if you stick to it, more people will come in. People will look up um, your topic and you could be up at the top. Like stay in that area. Like I was talking to this girl, she was telling me how she wanted to make up. So I was like, yeah, girl, go ahead and do makeup because makeup, people love watching women do their makeup on YouTube. Like, I'm one of them. Like, I love watching people do their makeup. Like, 
it's like especially if they're really good so i was telling her yeah do makeup you better do me girl because what so yeah follow a niche or topic and you will get far also familiarize yourself with tags ha well, hashtags keywords and things like that like there's an option on youtube um where you can go scroll down when you're uploading your video and it says tags i i use this website called rapidtags.io um you basically put the title of your video in the search box and it gives you a whole list of tags that you can use and i usually just copy all them tags and put them in my tag box sometimes um it'd be over 500 because they only give you 500 characters um, so I just delete some that I think wouldn't get searched that much. And when you put in tags, like literally, that's just something, if somebody type in, for me, if somebody put in VSG on YouTube, that tag is in my YouTube video, so I might be on the search key when somebody look up that, that title. You get what I'm saying? So keep them tags in mind. Um, Anybody that's watching this that want to start a YouTube, I'm going to leave all of the links and stuff that I use in the description box just so I can help you guys a little bit. Another thing that I use for tags as well is TubeBuddy. Um, TubeBuddy really helps. Um, it, they have an extension on the, on Google Chrome, I believe, and Safari. I might be wrong. Um, but basically, it helps you out with tags. Um, it can help you out with your thumbnail as well. Um, it, it gives you, it's like constructive criticism, but on the website. Like if you post a video with like a title, they'll give you words that uh, be better. And it helps for sure. Um, I always keep my tool buddy referral link down below so it's free y'all like it's really free and it really helps if you're ever thinking about doing youtube now we're going to talk about thumbnails so if you don't know what a thumbnail is it's basically the picture that you see when you search up somebody's video that is the picture that is what's going to catch somebody's eye not only the title but the, the thumbnail will catch it as well um first thing i would say about thumbnail is Stay consistent on how your thumbnails look. Keep the same um, font. It don't have to be the same color. Like if you look on my channel, I have different color um, thumbnails, but they all have the same font. Keep the same font. Do not change your font up. Um, I mean, it's okay to have like two or three different fonts in that thumbnail, but keep it like that. Do not, you know, if you get what I'm saying. Um, and try to use pictures and stuff that pop. Um, I'm not the best thumbnail maker, but um, the the apps that I use for my thumbnail, um, I use Superimpose X. Um, it was five dollars on the Apple Store, but it might be free. I bought it a year and a half ago, so um, it might be free now. But I'll put that in the description box. Um, and I also use Fonto. Fonto is basically the app that I use for my fonts. Um, you could use that. Um, and you can also like download different types of fonts that you want on this website called thefont.com. I'm going to put all this down in the description box if you want to go check it out. Everything, all that stuff is free. Um, they have a whole bunch of different type of fonts that you can pick from. They're very cool and stuff like that. I'm basic, so I just picked the font off Fonto.com. I mean, Fonto, the app. Um, but they do have a whole bunch of fonts. If you think that you want to be extra and, you know, do your shit, you can go to the font.com. But I still use Fonto to put everything together. I don't know if I should do a tutorial on how to do my thumbnails um if y'all want that just let me know i could do that um just when you do thumbnails 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 <laughs> when you do thumbnails just make sure that it's eye-catching if if your title is not eye-catching make sure your thumbnails eye-catching um that's how you will get 
more views. Also, another thing that I would say is quality. If you're if you're recording on a LG phone, sometimes you the quality will be like really bad. You can you can record on your cell phone, you can record on a Samsung, you can record on an Apple phone. You don't have to buy a camera. Um, that's your choice. But if you want people to come in more, record on a good quality device. Before I got my camera, I recorded on my phone. Um, and I still record on my phone to this day because I love the quality of how it looks. Um, I record on my phone when I don't have, when my, when my camera is dead. I record on my phone. For phones, um, if you want to record on your phone, um, one second. It's funny because I was just talking about my camera dying and it died, but I was able to charge it for a little bit. Um, but when I was telling y'all to hold on, I was trying to tell y'all the app that I use to edit with when I use my phone. Um, the, the main app that I used when I will record on my phone is iMovie. Um, that's if you have an iPhone, of course. But if you use an Android, um, there is an app called Video Shop. I like that app as well. Um, it's free, but you can add more perks to it if you pay like $3.99 a month, which isn't bad to me. So um, I was using that as well. Just make sure you have good quality. Also, another thing that I would say, do not record in portrait mode. Make sure you record in landscape mode. It's just easier that way. Um, have you ever went on somebody um, video on YouTube and it just show a big old picture? Like it don't show like it. The whole screen would be like they picture. It wouldn't be um, like the title, the likes, the shares, all that stuff. All that stuff you can't see it. Um, but if you do landscape mode, then you'll be able to see all that. And you also be able to look at the comments, enjoy them. If you're in portrait mode and you look at the comments, the, the video, the whole video wouldn't show. So, record in landscape mode. It's nothing to rotate your phone like, like this and record. It's nothing to do that. So, just do that uh, instead of recording like this because it's a hassle and you also get more viewers like that as well. There's a lot of things that you have to think about when you do YouTube. Um, also, get you a ring light. I'll put a ring light down in the description box that I bought from Amazon. Um, it's UB size. Um, I did a review on it as well. Um, if y'all wanna check that out, I'd put that in the information card. Um, it's a very good, cheap, affordable ring light for beginners. Um, you can connect your phone to it, you can connect your camera to it, whichever one you choose. Um, it's really cool. So um, go ahead and check out the the ring light. Cause you have to have good lighting as well if you wanna be a YouTuber. Um, there's just something that you should look into as well. Also, get on the camera sounding happy. Do not get on the camera being all mean and grouchy unless you're doing a rant or something upset you that you're gonna talk about to the YouTubers. I mean to the subscribers. <laughs> um, sound happy. Make people want to come back to your channel. Make them be like, oh, I love your personality. Make them do that type of stuff. Um, you don't want to come on here like, you look like you don't want to do this for real. You're just doing something just to do something. Get on here and be happy and love being a YouTuber. And one more thing that I would say is engage with your subscribers. Um, once you hit a thousand subscribers, you're able to um, go live. You're, um, you're able to post on your community wall and stuff like that. Do stuff like that. Um, ask your subscribers how they're doing. And um, if, if somebody follow you from YouTube on one of your social medias, message them and tell them, like, just thank them for subscribing to you and stuff like that. And just you know, that'll break their day. You don't know what's going on with your subscribers. You don't know how 
what's going on in, in their life and for you to respond to them they might they might make that day so do stuff like that that um will also bring them back to you to view you more and stuff like that just do that those are the main things that i would say to being a successful youtuber i'm not successful successful but i have 1.6k and i have gotten my first youtube check with the youtube so far so um i am semi-successful um so i just wanted to give y'all a few pointers if y'all ever wanted to do youtube um i can do another video like this soon um if y'all have any questions please comment down below on any questions that y'all may have and also um email me but yeah like i said before please like share and subscribe and you won't regret it turn notification bell because i post every friday at 12 p.m central standard time you do not want to miss it also comment down below on other things y'all want to see and i'm gonna definitely get into it and to further ado i see you guys next time peace be rolling, cause it be toting. Driving my car like it's stolen. All of my weed it be potent. Have you floating? Got your bitch sucking and choking. All of this weed I be talking, you know I be smoking. All of my diamond be frozen. I start work through the night. Got your girl and she won't pipe. But she gotta stay one night. Fuck it, she's on light. Put the lean, no ice. Fuck it, fuck no wife. Only fear God that's right. And I might take your life. Make a nigga see the light. Make a nigga have no life. Stay real sharp like a knife. I always stick a big pipe. I only sleepless nights. Uh.